Hello there, and welcome to our ninth episode in our Pharmacy Calculations Practice Series. Today's question reads, how many milliliters of U100 regular insulin should be added to a 100 milliliter bag of 0.9% sodium chloride to prepare a 100 unit per 100 milliliter solution? So we need to solve for how many milliliters. And we know we have U100 concentration insulin, and we know our desired concentration is 100 units per 100 milliliters. Now the first thing you need to know to be able to solve this is what U100 means. And when insulin concentration is expressed, it's expressed as a U and a dash followed by a number. That number indicates how many units there are in one milliliter of that insulin product. So U100 is equal to 100 units per milliliter. Insulin also comes in a U500 form, meaning there's 500 units per milliliter, but most insulin is U100 as in this example. So we're gonna need that information as we solve for this uh, problem. Now I'm a big fan, as you all know, of setting up proportions because it can be consistent to solve these types of questions. So essentially what we're trying to figure out is how many milliliters of U100 insulin do we add to get to this concentration? But we would start by saying how many units do we need to add to get to a concentration of 100 units per 100 ml? So that's X units we need to add per a 100 milliliter bag to get to a concentration of 100 units per 100 ml. So we put on the right-hand side in the numerator what we're solving for, so X units per 100 ml bag of sodium chloride solution is equal to our desired concentration, which is 100 units per 100 ml, and we need to keep the units consistent in the numerator and denominator position. So 100 units per 100 ml. And obviously, if you do this cross multiplication, that's 100 units divided by 100 milliliters. Cross multiply here. You always cross multiply like that. 100 milliliters. When you do that, your milliliters are gonna cancel out. And that leaves us with 100 units. Now you may be thinking that was obvious by looking at the question, but I like to you know, show you the actual math so that you can do this if you were provided with different information. So if we know we need to add 100 units of insulin to this product, our concentration is 100 units per ml. We need to convert 100 units to milliliters. And again, we know this is one ml, but the actual math behind this would now be how many milliliters are there per 100 units when our known conversion is one milliliter has 100 units. And again, we would solve this math, 100 mil, one milliliter divided by 100 units, cross multiplied by 100 units equals one milliliter. So the answer to this question is one milliliter. Now you may be wondering, technically, if you added one milliliter to a 100 milliliter bag, you're actually gonna have 101 milliliters. You could take one milliliter out of that 100 milliliter bag prior to adding the insulin to have precisely 100 units per 100 ml. Uh, with a high alert medication like insulin, that's probably not a bad idea. Most hospital policies are gonna allow you to just add that one milliliter because it's just 1% overage. Some policies may be 5%. Um, but again, whichever way you do it, this is the math behind figuring out how many units or how many milliliters of insulin you would add. Now, I would go ahead and go back and say, if this question were different and it was asking you how many milliliters of U100, U100 insulin should be added to a 250 milliliter bag, now your math becomes a little bit different. Um, so I'll show you quickly 
and we'll kind of do this off to the side so you can see why it's important to understand how to do this when it's not as obvious. In this case, we would be saying, how many units do we add to a 250 milliliter bag to get to our desired concentration of 100 units per 100 ml? Now, if we do that cross multiplication, 100 units divided by 100 ml times 250 ml, that X is going to become 250 units. And then, knowing that we need to con convert this 250 units to milliliters, we set up another proportion. And we're going to say, how many milliliters of regular insulin does it take to get to 250 units when we need, when we know that the conversion is 1 ml per 100 units? And if we did this math, 1 divided by 100 times 250, we would find that x equals 2.5 milliliters. So in that example, you would add 2.5 milliliters of U100 insulin to the 250 milliliter bag of sodium chloride to get to that concentration of 100 units per 100 ml. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, this may seem a little more complicated than it needs to be, but I promise you if you understand this proportion method and you set it up this way every time, you can solve most any question you're going to see on the pharmacy technician certification exam so long as you know how to structure it. Uh, and perform all of the conversions that you need to do for each question. If you have any questions about this, please reach out to us. And our contact information here on our Facebook page, uh, slash Pharmacy Tech Scholar. You can email us at info at pharmacytechscholar.com, or you can just find us on the web at pharmacytechscholar.com, and you'll see a contact tab there.